Out of all the machine tools that we own, by far the best ROI is on our Hercos. My name is Chris Branicke. I'm one of the owners at IQ Manufacturing. A lot of machine shop owners don't understand the game they're playing. They think that automatically the most important thing is the rapid feed rate or how fast you're cutting or whatever. And all those things are important. But really the most important factor is return on investment. Out of all the machine tools that we own, by far the best ROI is on our Hercos. They're not a very expensive machine and we've been able to generate quite a bit of income off of those machines. Because they're so user friendly, you can put staff on there that is not a very skilled machinist. You don't have to have a guy with 20 years to really run them effectively. And they're very good at high mix use and setup time is where everyone struggles on high mix work. So the machine tool having slower rapids or something like that is not a major factor. Also the square footage of the machine, it's only 72 inches by 72 inches, it takes up almost, almost no floor space and you have a full capable Cat 40 machine at the ready to run. A lot of the competitors and machines are twice the size, not to mention twice the cost. At IQ Manufacturing, we're a job shop. We like to pride ourselves on we'll cut anything anybody will pay us to cut, from foam to titanium, stainless steels, 7075, 6061, all your tool steels. We do mold, dye, aerospace. As a job shop, we get a lot of high mix use, small detail work, and we're struggling to find the right machine tool to complete that style of work. When we found the Hercos, we found the right tool, small footprint, Cat 40 machine that could execute a wide variety of high mix parts quickly, get them on and off the machine. If we're making custom fixturing, say we're making uh, custom jaws, we can have uh, the operator programming the jaws conversationally while our cam seat guy is programming the actual part. So because those are getting worked in parallel, we get the job done much quicker. We found that the Herco control is the easiest control for people that walk in off the street with minimal skill set to learn. And inside of a week, they're fully booted up and able to load programs, pick up a job, and run. Everyone I've ever met who runs a Herco loves the interrupt button. I don't know why other competitors haven't picked up on this. It's an unbelievably useful feature. The ability the interrupt button gives you is you can hit the button, step out of a program, move the table forward, look at the job, and jump right back into the program all by the press of a button. You don't have to worry about accidentally restarting or not turning your spindle on. It's seamless. A 10 year old could operate that. Even though we only had the Herco machines for a couple years, uh, we really haven't had a lot of problems with them. And when we do, the service has been excellent from the whole Herco team. Oftentimes, instead of them like mandating that a tech has to come out, they'll help us out over the phone and quickly get us up back and running. I'm most proud of our team because we have a lot of young guys that have continued to grow and adapt with the company. They hire in at one spot and they continue to learn and add skills and actually really help the company as a whole grow. It's not just Kelly and I making all the growth happen. We'll be in business seven years coming up here in another month or two. We've had 100% growth five of the seven years. COVID threw a little bit of a wrench in that for us. We want to continue that rate of growth. We have the capacity internally in our building to do that. We're not looking to be a mom and pop shop. We want to be a large organization. We're putting people in positions in the company to help facilitate that.